You're watching When Keeping It Real Goes Wrong. And a Clayton County correctional officer found herself on the other side of the law this afternoon after she was accused of trying to enter the jail with contraband. Sheriff LaVon Allen says a supervisor stopped her. She was fired, then arrested Sunday. She now faces four felony charges. And this is actually the latest employee arrested in Operation You Tried It. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, hit y'all with another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely stupendous. Big shout out to all the channel members and subscribers of the Trey King Show family and much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a story out of Georgia by way of Atlanta. And big shout out to everybody in the great state of Georgia, everybody inside the great city of Atlanta. Now, before I start this story, I want to send a special thank you out to my channel members and also to my subscribers for sending me this story. And also, keep these stories coming. Now, this story right here shows you and illustrates to you why sometimes it's best not to keep it real. And this is what you call when keeping it real goes wrong. Because I know sometimes people want to make a little extra money. I know sometimes people want to stud up. I know sometimes people want to show how bad and how body body they is. But guess what though? Being bad won't get you no damn way. And being body body will get your butt locked up. As in the case of this story right here, we have 27 years old Desiree Lowry. Yes, no kidding of Mike Lowry from Bad Boys. Now, what Desiree Lowry decided to do was something very, what we call, it starts with an S. Yes, uh, stupid. Yes, it was very stupid what Miss Desiree Lowry tried to do. Now, she didn't just try to smuggle some cigarettes into this jail system. And this jail goes by the infamous name of Clayton County Jail. Some of y'all know exactly what I'm talking about because some of y'all ass have been locked up there. Now, you would think out of all places, you would not bring nothing into Clayton County. It's two counties I know you don't mess with in America. It might be a lot more, but if you know any more counties not to mess with, please let me know in the comment section. Now, it's two counties that you do not supposed to mess with. That's Clayton County and also Cobb County because them two counties do not play. Now, Desiree Lyra decided to do the unthinkable like she was Alicia Keys. She decided to smuggle a gun, drugs, and alcohol inside this jail. And guess what? They were standing there waiting on her when she crossed that guard line. Now, I don't know what made Miss Lyra do this, but you would think after seeing six of your fellow employees go down for the same damn thing for smuggling contraband into this jail, you would think that you would tell that inmate, hell no. I wish I was working at this jail and the inmate came up and told me, Trey, uh, could you bring me some cigarettes, some alcohol? You could bring me anything. It could have been a phone number from somebody. Guess what I would have told them? Hold on. I would have went right up front and got the sheriff and came right back there and pointed just like this. Pointed right at them. They're like, oh, Trey, you snitch? I'm like, boy, yeah. I am not going to trade places with you. But anyway, Desiree Lyra was caught trying to bring the whole kit and caboodle inside the jail and her butt is locked up right now. A sad situation. And like I told you all just a few minutes ago, Clayton County has been plagued with problems from these damn jailers at this jail. And you would think this makes the seven jailer been locked up. Now, Desiree Lowry have already seen six of her fellow ex-employees go down for the count. And you would think that she would have known better. But guess what, though? They have an old saying, a hard head make a what? A soft. Y'all know the rest. Anyway, we'll break the rest down as I read a snippet from the story. I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story. And I am going to get my opinion. All of it. Mm, mm, mm. Surely, as we go, Clayton County Correctional Officer becomes seven jail employee arrested in 2023. Seven of them went down for the count this year alone. I mean, damn, talk about being dedicated. Ain't no way in hell I could be working at this jail. Somebody would have told me to bring something in, and I'd have seen all these other people I'd have worked with be locked up. Some of them same people that you were working with locked up right there on the same tier that you was patrolling. I mean, damn, let's be for real. Now, anyway, let's continue. A Clayton County Correctional Officer was arrested as she attempted to enter the Clayton County Jail with contraband, the department said in a news release. Not the Trey King Show, because one thing about the Trey King Show, as you all may know right now, we've been here seven years going strong, is that we don't speculate. We speak number what? Yes, fat, fat facts all day, every day, like my people in St. Louis say. Anyway, now for those who don't know, when police have these investigations going on, it's always called an operation. You get what I'm saying? Now, this operation was called, guess what? You tried it. And damn, did she try it. Now, anyway, Operation You Tried It led to the former officer, Desiree Lyra's arrest 
as she crossed the sheriff's guard line and attempted to enter the jail with contraband. Law reportedly became nervous and attempted to make her get away, the department said. Now, how are you going to sit up here and be a mural and be a trafficker? That's what a mural is, somebody who trafficked. Now, how are you going to sit there and be pushing a product, trying to bring a product in, and then you're going to get nervous when you see the popos? I mean, damn, girl. Now, if you went up there being nervous, maybe they probably would have let you go by. But evidently, see, one thing about this whole situation is that you have to understand this for all my people that's working in jails right now, for all my people who are listening to me right now, and most of all, for my people that's working at the Clayton County Jail. You already know, they always have in every jail system in prison across America, I can't speak for no else in the world, they always have what we call a jailhouse snitch or a prison snitch. It's always somebody sitting up there telling every damn thing that's going on inside these jails. And you wonder why the police, the guards know every damn thing what's going on because they have an inmate there telling everything. And I guarantee you, it was one of these inmates that dropped them beans. Now, who was that inmate? Anyway, now on Sunday, Lyra was fired from the sheriff's office and arrested. Girl, you did this on a Sunday on Jesus Day? You're supposed to have your butt in church. Oh, no, you had to go to work. But out of all days, sister, Sunday? Damn, I bet your mom and them mad as hell at you right now. Anyway, now this right here comes from the sheriff's office because you know they have to get their input in because they are very proud of themselves for bringing down one of the most notorious mural that Clayton County Jail had ever seen. The sheriff's department said this right here. They say Desiree Lowry exchanged her employee badge number for an inmate IE number, exchanged her office title for an inmate title, and also exchanged her blue uniform for guess what? An orange uniform and exchanged her clean record for guess what? A felony record said the sheriff's office. I mean, damn. The only thing you heard this whole conversation was Desiree change. And that's exactly what she did. She changed a lot. She changed her whole freedom, man. So guess what? To be incarcerated. You get what I'm saying? If that ain't bad enough, what you going to do about that face you got? Because guess what? Halloween is coming up and you don't even have to even wear a mask. Anyway, let's close up because somebody got mad at that. Now, Lyra has been charged with violation of oath of a public officer giving an inmate a gun. Why in the hell would you give an inmate a gun? That's why I want to know right there. And who the hell is this damn inmate? Because we need to have his butt on blast also. Sir, you going to put this woman up to bring you a damn gun? I mean, whatever happened to the old thing? Just give me some sex. Whatever happened to the old thing? Just bring me a little bottle of Boone's Farm or a little gin and juice. You get what I'm saying? I don't even know if people still drink Boone's Farm or not. Anyway, whatever happened to bringing me some cigarettes? Whatever happened to bringing me a cell phone? Now, you want this woman to bring you a gun? And guess what her dumb ass did? Brung a damn gun. Now, they did not say what kind of gun it was, but maybe, maybe it was probably a 38 or a 22. Who knows? Anyway, she gave an inmate a gun, drugs, and alcohol. Damn. And also, criminal attempt they charged her with and crossing the guard line with guns, drugs, and alcohol. And the last two charges sound like they made up talking about criminal attempt and also crossing the guard line with guns, drugs, and alcohol. I mean, damn, you already charged her for the drugs and alcohol and also for giving the inmate a damn gun. But you know how serious this whole situation could have turned out? Do you know what a gun can do to somebody? I mean, I'm sure we all know that by now. So why would you sit up there and, number one, and take a chance? Now, think about this. This same inmate that you gave this gun to, now, what if he would have turned around and used you as a damn hostage? What if he would have turned around and shot somebody in the ass? And most of all, what if he would have took that same gun that you gave him and took his own damn life with? You get what I'm saying? Now, this whole thing could have been accessory to murder, all kinds of charges. You lucky this inmate did not discharge that firearm inside that jail. But guess what? It would have been hell to pay. Now, anyway, let's close up. Since becoming Sheriff LaVon Allen, sound like a top flight security of the world, Craig, has arrested seven of his own employees slash contractors, the department said. I mean, talk about being dedicated. And sir, Mr. LaVon, keep up the good work because we trying to make these jails safe. You get what I'm saying? We ain't trying to send people to jail for them to have guns and drugs and alcohol in there. You feel what I'm saying? If that's the case, you can just leave them out on the damn street. But what kind of fool sit up here, number one, and throw away their livelihood for a damn jailbird? What kind of fool sit up here, number one, and bring drugs and alcohol and most of all, a damn gun inside of a damn jail? I mean, girl, where was your mind at? You had to been digmatized or something like that. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. If there's anything I may have missed or misinformed, which is not my true intent, please let me know in the comment section or you can email me and we can talk about it more there. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed and have a great weekend. And thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for the love and support. And I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. And you all have a great day and I will see you all soon on the next Trey King Show. And guess what? I'm out.
You're watching when keeping it real goes wrong.